Hello and how are you? My name is Mahim Bambas and I welcome you to our 33rd uh, lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. You know, we always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer. So in the previous lecture, we were designing a what? We were designing a code generator if you still remember we are able to create some generation of code let me go ahead and log in here as a company admin to and then we have here code generator hope it's this one this one here i think it's this one and then we're able to click on generate model and we are able to receive this okay so this is the dart code that has been generated from our what from the project. So let's go ahead and proceed from there and see how we can add the remaining information that we need in this code. Okay. First close this thing. They are wasting my RAM. Right. Okay. So we are generating the financial financial period model. And if you still remember, uh, we have already finished the the what get local items. So we're going to proceed. Okay. So I was having the one that was benchmarking from here. So we have this one get local items. Already finished this one. So we proceed with how we can be able to display uh, other things. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have this get local items. I think we should follow ours. So we have get local items. This one here. Okay, so I finished working on this one. Okay, this one here. I finished working on this one. So I can proceed with others. So I finished get local items. Uh -huh. The next thing what we're going to work on. I think we need to add this one on top because the other time I was following the other module. I mean, I was following the other prototype. So let me go ahead and add. So let's see. We have here the table name and then the table, end, I mean, the endpoint and the table name. Then we have here our variables. Then we have here our to JSON. It starts here and ends here. Okay, let me put this one here so it can be a little bit organized. Our to JSON is there okay now after so here we okay to json is done okay i can even cut it and put it down there down 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 here here before the close of the class to json let me put it there so i can follow a normal order then uh we have here what we have uh get items i think that's what we're going to have so after getting item then we have here uh, get local items okay so let's go ahead and do the get items here so i'll go ahead and just uh, copy uh, this the way it is so it starts here and ends here so i'll go ahead and copy it okay so get items i copy the way it is eh? and then we substitute so i'll come here and put it here let me just first create enough space here okay so get local items um i paste there there it is I can try to organize it. Okay, so it can be like this, and then 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 like this. I just want it to be organized a little bit, and then like this, and then like this then like this and then like this sorry i think i think that's okay now so let me push it on front i'm using the tab key like this okay so it is now fine all right i think now it's fine uh -huh, so it is uh let me push it here okay so it is uh it, we are we are we are writing this one okay this get, get items okay so uh, we are going to remove this one this less than sign and i'm going to replace it with what with and lt and lt means and less than sign so it would be like this and less than sign 
and so also less than sign put and lt and less than okay like this uh -huh. so this is greater than sign so i put and gt okay and also replace this one and gt like this all right to proceed now here we have a financial period you see this word financial period this one here it has to be substituted with a what with a class name so i'll come here get this class name so come here where there is financial period this here i replace it with a curl bracket and then put or like this class name so the class name should be substituted there you get it eh? okay i come and do the same here okay so next to it i come and remove the uh less than sign okay so i'll come and put here and lt and gt greater than okay so after doing that then you have a weight gate item this is okay and then you have items that empty empty and then you have items that you get local so these one are just remaining the same okay so these are remaining the same all right let's go ahead and refresh and see if we don't have any error so i'll come and refresh here uh, it comes here i copy the way it is copy control a control c i come and paste it in the code and i see if there's no any error so i see there's an error of init table of, of course this is the method that we've is one that i've just not created i have not created it so let me just undo and go back of course we are coming with the init table you can as well put it there let's let's just do init table so you can just know that that one is done init table okay let's go step by step okay so at least the error that you have seen there it is just a method that we have not reached okay so let's let's proceed so get items it's already done this one is already done i've converted this one okay we proceed okay get item is done here all right so we proceed to get uh local items get local items this one here okay so i'm going to collapse the whole of it here i collapse the whole of it i think get local items right we finished it get local items i think we finished it you see we finished it okay so i think we did the previous video it's done eh? so i'll come to its end i think it is ending here okay it ends here all right it ends here get local items it ends here okay so i can make it even to be the last something like that so it ends here so we proceed after get local items so you come with ends. it ends here then you come to get online items so i'll copy this one i'll just collapse this one the way it is here collapse it so this is get online items make sure that you collapse it correctly so i'll call i'll copy the whole of it like this okay so get online items i'm going to put it next to what to get items okay so i'll come here to get items so remember this is the last bracket that is closing the class so i'll come here get items and i put get online items okay so it starts here so make sure that you know where it starts you can even uh create enough space so you can be able to separate them eh? so it is starting on top here get online items all right so let's go ahead and do and convert okay so let me put copy this and lt so let's come here to get online items we come here and put and lt and gt okay and gt greater than okay so we proceed we see if we can get anything that can replace there response model it's okay uh response model http i think everything goes okay there everything is okay there uh endpoint so this endpoint we can uh, you can substitute it with this endpoint this endpoint okay i think we already have it here so i can use that one this endpoint which are now using this one eh? this one here okay so let me come so here there is endpoint we're going to substitute it with what yeah we can leave it there because okay we can leave it the way it is here you can just simply put uh endpoint like this because see how you defined it on top here how did you define it with an underscore so you leave it the way it is you leave it the way it is only that you need to escape this dollar okay so it can be dollar sign and then the endpoint okay so you just escape the what the dollar so it can be able to be substituted there i hope that's okay i hope i hope it is <laughs> i hope eh? if it doesn't then we shall come and substitute it eh? 
or we just uh, put there the endpoint. How do you access this endpoint? I think we yeah we put the dollar sign like that. So you escape the dollar sign. All right, to proceed, we proceed, we proceed, we proceed, we proceed, we proceed. There's no any issue there. Okay, so here it is the table name. So I put here the dollar sign. So it, I mean, you escape the dollar sign so it can be substituted the way it is. Okay, so we escape the dollar sign. We proceed also come here and escape the dollar sign. We escape it here. Okay, we proceed, we proceed, we proceed, we proceed, we proceed, we proceed. Okay, here you also escape it. And also here you escape it. We proceed, we proceed, escape it here, escape it here. All right, so come and escape it here, come and escape it here, come and escape it here, come and escape it here. I hope I've not got a place where I have the less than sign. Come and escape it here, come and escape it here. Okay, so less than sign. All right, so there we go. There we go. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and process and see if we don't have any syntax error. Refresh, control A, come here and paste. So I'll come here to the class of finance and I paste there everything and let's see if we don't have any uh, syntax error. So let's see, we have like a few errors here. So this is uh, delete all. Delete all is the method that we're going to create. And this is edit table. It's the table that we're going to create. And to JSON, it's a method that we're going to create. So everything is okay. Everything is okay. So I'll go back. So everything is fine. So I've got the online, get online items. This one, I've finished it. This one here. Now we come to delete all. Delete all. I'll copy the way it is here. And come and paste it here. Okay, make sure that you leave this last bracket for, for the closing, for the class closing. So come and put there. So here I'm going to put here and less than okay, and then come and put here and greater than like this. So delete all. Uh -huh. Everything is okay here. Everything is okay here. All right. Everything is okay here. Uh, we have to come and escape this one. I think that is done. So delete all is done. So delete all, it's done. We go ahead and do delete specific item. I'll copy this. Okay. Come and put it here. Delete specific item. Uh huh. Come and put here and less than and greater than and less than. Like this. The rest I think is okay, only that I need to escape this guy here. Alright, that is nice. Let's go ahead and do the what? The delete item. Let's go ahead and put all the methods there. Delete item, command, put it there. All right, put here and this done sign. And less than, then put here and greater than. And come and escape this guy. I think that is okay. Mm -hmm. We proceed. I proceed to this one save okay we proceed to save come here at the end of the line put there the save come and copy and less than and less than so come and put here and less than and put here and greater than something like that okay so something like that okay come here and do it and escape so everything is what is all right everything is all right Okay, so uh, now we come now to the database. Okay, now we come to the table initialization. Copy it the properly. Copy it like this. Okay, then come and put here table init. Come and put it here. All right. So let me table initialize. Copy it properly. And then come here. Make sure that this line, line, I mean, last bracket is kept. Okay, paste it. Now let's go ahead and uh, see if we have copied properly. Okay. I hope we did. Okay, so. Come put here. And less than. 
and put here and the grade then okay i think that's all and then come here and substitute however however these are variables they are supposed to change so if you still remember we had our sql we had our sql variables okay you see it's, it's still here our sql table variables that is the content of the sql so i'm going to come here if you still remember i have it here so i'm going to come here and replace everything in between here including this and I replace it with this okay i replace it with the sql like this so the sql will be substituted there okay so make sure that you did it like you do it like that you just replace the one in the middle and make sure you keep the last brackets okay then let's come here and escape i think that's it all right so this still have one more to json to json I'll come and copy it uh from json i think we've done it let's see from which one we did from json from json that eh? i don't know let's see which one did we do from json or to json okay let's refresh and see what we have and then we shall see what we lack refresh so everything is okay you see even these ones are okay so i'll do ctrl c ctrl a ctrl c come and paste here and you see what is the problem now if there is any yeah see we don't have any problem only to json is remaining to json that is so nice so i'll undo and come to json this one here so i'll go ahead and copy to json after copying to json i'll come here at the end of our class okay here and then put to json so remember we already have to json what to json data okay we already have to json data it is here okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to remove these things in the middle here and i put json there i hope that is okay yeah hmm? i hope that is it let me let's see what what to json looks like uh to json yeah i think that is okay i think that's okay i think that is exactly okay so see how i've just done that okay so that's it let's try and refresh and see if we don't have any error okay let's try and refresh ctrl a ctrl c come now to the project ctrl a ctrl v boom there is no any error so press ctrl alt and l okay for auto arranging you see there is no any error there is no any error so that is how you generate the code that is a very very powerful technique that's a very powerful technique you see that you see that like this code is just generated okay and it has no any error so you can watch the video again and again to make sure that you also come up with such a what such a class that is going to help you to generate you the code by yourself all right so that's it so that's it you see now that's it so yeah, i want here the financial model it is already there it is already there so what are we going to work upon now we're going to work on uh, now let's say that we let's let's test for another model now for example the financial model is done uh which model should we do okay we shall do it when you reach it eh? but the whole point is right now we're able now to generate our heart our own code using what using using php all right so let's let's okay let's let's generate another model let's generate another model for example we have um financial period to have employees let's generate the employees model so I come here to new and then come here to employ employee model something like that okay so maybe employees something like that. employee model uh, so if, what is it which table is speaking from it's being from the table of users because employee are what are users so here admin users and what is the end point the end point of employee if you still remember okay let's go to a postman i can go to a project huh? let's go to postman it is api stroke employee okay I think that's it api stroke employee api stroke employee as it is on the dashboard 
so go ahead and submit so you see this is our what our employee model it is here so if i want the mode of employee to print it okay i think finally i think we should remove api because i don't see again API here, sorry, like this so now if i want to generate this one i just simply click here so it has created for us the financial what the financial mode i mean the employee model so let's go ahead and put in our project so i just simply come and say copy employee and then come here and then go to the models and then come and say new uh, and then put here employee model dot that like this so by doing like that we have our employee so you go ahead and copy all copy all, control a control c and then come and paste in here you see there's some small error but i think that one can be able to import it okay so there's an issue <laughs> we do not submit we do not substitute this one financial model okay we do not submit it with the class that is there static you see so you have to substitute this one that with class name okay so here there is financial model it has to be substituted so it should not be dynamic it should be static put a class name convert here class name like this so i think this will solve the whole problem now refresh control a control c come and paste it here like there's no any more error can you see everything has been generated including the database you see isn't that nice you see so it has the offline logic it has everything that is so nice okay that is so 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 nice all right so that is so nice i think let's go ahead and uh, and what and work on uh, on financial period okay let's work on financial period uh yeah so that is nice i'm happy to have this all right so let's go ahead i want to test something here uh let's go to our financial periods financial financial okay so that's it that's it that's how you generate the code make sure that you achieve the same too so let me come at least thailand i want to test something if i put here uh trailing and i put here a button for edit can someone click on this button without clicking on this? All right. Okay. So that is our edit screen. So if someone want to edit, they click here, and then to take them to what? Uh, to edit okay yeah so that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it all right so when you click on uh, this pen on the trailing button we go ahead and put there the icon of the edit and then we go ahead and launch the create financial period and then we pass the index or the item in the index so when you click here you see that the financial period is able to bring everything that was already there so i can go ahead and change this one maybe 2024 uh, 2025 and then i keep it active and they submit yes so you see it has submitted successfully that is beautiful so if i come and refresh you'll see it is it has changed you see that is so nice that is so nice click on edit text there you can be able to edit all right that is so nice okay so the editing is working and the what and uh, the editing is working and so it is done we can create we can edit okay financial period is done we go to employees we go to employees we go to employees mm -hmm. employees it is here so the first thing to do we create the employees model we create the employees model okay so to create the employees model we just simply come there employee 
I mean, sorry, to create the employee model, you come to your data generator, to your code generator, and then you create the employee model like this. You see? You saw how I did it. And then you click on what? On generate. And then you create for you what? An employee model. Okay? Just simply copy the name of the model and come and create a class in your class. I mean, in your project. Okay? After creating that class, and then come and I mean after creating the file of that class, come and copy it, control A, control C. Then come to your project. Okay. And then where is it? Employ model. And then control and paste there everything. So by doing the cut, we will do what? To get the employees project like the everything. Alright, so now let's go ahead and work on the employees. Okay. Let's go ahead and work on the employees. So we're going to begin by creating the what? The employees. I'm going to begin by creating the what? The employees screen. Okay. The employees screen. Okay. Where well, we can have a list of employees. All right. So we're going just to use this one of financial mode and just duplicate it. Okay. So I'll come here to our financial model. This one here. So financial periods. Okay, we can create now a screen for employees or a section for employees. Right click here and say new and then say new directory and then can call this one employees. Okay, and then after doing that, come and get this uh, what? See, this one of screens, eh? this one financial period screens copy it and then come here to employees directory paste it so go ahead and call it what uh employees screen employees with the capital s i mean with the s that makes it plural employee screen is going to be the employee screen so say go to the end then after doing that i come here to financial period so i can just simply come and say uh, refactor right click and let's say refactor and then say rename and then put here the new name okay so it's going to be employees screen and let's say refactor by doing like that you'll update everything that is required all right so after doing that the next thing that we're going to do we're going to remove this financial period instead we're going to import the what so I'm going to come and put here my employees. I can say simply the title is going to be employees. Alright, so this is going to be now uh, the one that will be reading us to create the what? The employees. But we don't have that one, that form yet. So I'm going to create that form. Okay, so I can just first comment it and also comment this one. Alright, so after doing that, I save. So after doing this, I'm going to go ahead and do what? and the call this screen on a main menu here so you have uh, what okay so we go to our heart to our main menu and then we go ahead and add uh, we add the financial, I mean, sorry, the employees, okay, employees. All right, so after doing that, we come here and put the word, the screen where it should be navigated when someone clicks on that, on employees. So after I've saved, uh, then mean that now we have our employees here on top, when you click there, it takes you to what to the list of employees okay so you see that is it takes the list of employees so let's go down to the list of employees uh, so instead of having here items as what as financial period i'm going to put here employee model like this. and 
then here you're getting items financial period put employee model okay so after doing that i'll come back at least of course my crash because i'll change the types and i come to employees model so there is no what there is no employees model what are they saying um i think i need to add the word api the last here i want to add the word api at the end point let's go ahead and see what we've got let's go ahead and run the application again okay so come to employee refresh it's not working let's go ahead and see what we have exactly in the what in the in the what in the postman okay in the postman what do we have in the postman we come to our project inventor track or is employees it is here so employees list it is api stroke user not employee okay api stroke user like this so it means that uh, we would have done what would have come here and put stroke user not stroke employee that would be the end point Here, so I can come and edit, or you can just simply go there directly and change. So come and edit. So put here user because our endpoint is what is stroke user. So submit. You can generate this one. It's just the same. Control A, Control C. Come here to our project. Test there. Everything is alright. No any error. No any problem. So go ahead and run it. Now come to employees ah boom you see that is so nice can you see we have our employee there we have our employee you can refresh to brings here the employee that is so nice that is so nice as in so nice uh -huh. now let's go ahead and create the form of creating an employee and editing an employee okay so let's go ahead and do that a form of editing an employee so we are not going to create a new form totally like totally new form we're just going to benchmark from the financial period because it already have almost everything that we need so there's nothing like creating totally something new so we're going to come to financial periods financial period create screen uh let me get it here here financial period create screen control c uh, it is here so i'm just going to copy that one okay it's this one here copy that one come and paste here in employees so i'm going to call this one employees employee create screen employee create screen like this ctrl c press enter come here on top ctrl select this one eh? select the uh, financial period screen that word okay Select the word financial period screen, then press Ctrl F, then press Alt and Enter, and then press there. Okay, press there. Employee create screen. Now you can write it there. Employee create screen. All right. So what should it expect? That's our new one. So you should expect financial. I mean, you should expect employee model. Employee model. And then I'll come here to where there is a okay. Yeah, so we go ahead and put the name of that means the information of an employee. So an employee is going just to have we can remove unnecessary ones and just maintain two. Main maintain few. Okay. So Employee, let's check here the form of employee. Before we start removing, employee has the 
date of birth and what and some radio whether it's active or male or female okay so you have to maintain here some sub so put here date of birth dob okay so come and put here dob so date of birth is just and not a range picker it is just a what date picker okay so it's not a range picker so let me remove this one i don't need this so i just come and put it maybe dob and then i put the what the range the date picker you see that is the date picker that is the date picker all right let's come and remove okay i'm just going to leave the uh, things that i, I will need eh? So I just want to remove the Anderson and Mesa. For example, this one the text field. I don't need it so much. Uh -huh. So submit. Yeah, we are validating the dates. Can I move that? Okay. Okay, so this we are calculating the totals and whatever. I remove those ones. I don't need those ones, so I think now there's no error. I can come here and I align it as a what? As an employee create screen. So let's go ahead and copy the name and come back to employee screen and then uh, uh, you go ahead and now uh, put employee screen there employee create screen there and import it okay employee create screen and import it after importing it we go ahead and put there our what our employee on the create so i can just simply say use and they put this i can say maybe employee mode employee mode how do you call this the name of this one employee mode so and put it here okay so employee screen it will accept Sorry, I've just put a wrong screen. It should be employee create screen like this. I think that is okay now. That is okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and do okay. So let's go ahead and do it and come to the edit. Okay. So this edit of course can come later but let's go ahead and put it there all right so put there the financial screen okay oh, it's done okay so if i come here if i come here refresh i click on this it takes me to the adding of what adding of a new uh, shouldn't be financial period, it should be adding creating new and new heart. New employee, create new employee. Right, so that's it. Uh, so when I click on this plus, I'm able to see the employee. When I click on uh, edit, the employee names are able to resume there from where they are or whatever so that is how you do it that is how you manage so in the next lecture we're going now to add more interesting things know how we can make this dynamic thing uh, work for us all right make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel make sure that you don't miss the next lecture because we're going to look at more interesting things bye bye